Hey guys, what is going on? My name's Alex, you're watching Thrive with Alex, and you are watching a series that I'm doing where I'm documenting my whole journey as to starting my very first successful Shopify store. If you're like me and you've created, uh, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight different Shopify stores in the past and never gotten a sale because you just, you just didn't follow through, uh, that's what we're getting past in this series right here. That's what this focus is on. And me giving these videos to you guys is a way to not only help you, but to help myself with accountability. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing every single step up until the first sale. And then I'll still do videos, but this is a, this is a series to get to that first sale and to prove that it's gonna happen. So uh, hopefully you're following along with me guys. I really appreciate everybody that is and that's leaving all the awesome comments. You guys rock. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, this video today is going to be all about the um, theme that I'm using and how I'm getting all of the images to put onto my Shopify store to where I don't get sued. Um, Dan De Silva made a video a while ago about getting sued from um, somebody that basically he used a Google image from. Now he didn't go into super specifics on it and I'm sure it's because he really can't, um, but he got sued basically for using a Google image and the person that took that picture and put it on Google images essentially put it on there so that somebody would use it so that he could sue them. Pretty screwed up, pretty non-ethical right there, but uh, people do it and apparently a lot of people do it. So don't use your images from Google images, please. Uh, I'm going to show you a few different really awesome ways that you can get free images and then pay a little bit of money for images that are fully licensed to you. So first things first, this is my store right now. This is what it's looking like. Uh, like I said, guys, I'm showing you every single thing. This is my personal store. This is it, everything that I'm doing. I'm not trying to hide anything from you guys. This is real. So uh, it's called the Rough Outdoors. We have, this is our homepage. We have a shop right here with all kinds of different uh, categories in it and collections but this image right here is what we're going to be talking about so i actually got this image um, from a free website and i have full rights to it i'm not going to get sued for it. i can use it personally or commercially uh, so yeah no worries there and all of my images have either come from uh, one of these three different sites or aliexpress's images that they give you because some of them are actually pretty decent most of them are not but some of them are good. So let's go ahead and get into the very first one, which is going to be the free website. It is called pexels.com, P-E-X-E-L-S. I'll leave a link for it to you below. It's not an affiliate link or anything. Just gonna leave you guys the links to all of these. Um, but this is all free stock footage that you're allowed to use personally or commercially. So let's go ahead and just type in dogs, for instance. And you'll see that all kinds of pictures pop up. I don't know, does it tell us how many? No, it doesn't, but uh, so many pictures pop up and if we'll, we'll just click on this one for example right here and you can see that it says free for personal use and commercial use and you don't have to name the photographer. So very cool that that is like that and then you'll notice that this is kind of a little bonus thing for you guys. Um, it'll say burst.shopify.com is where the source of this image came from and so on some of these pictures they'll have you know, a, uh, a URL like that that you can click on. And if we go to this, this one in particular uh, has a collection of so many different things. So if we wanted to do maybe, uh, maybe we're doing some kind of food Shopify store. I don't know what you guys are doing. Um, but we'll just click on that for example. And all of these images are also free. We'll just click on this first one and it says, you can download the high resolution one right there download free photo and you have uh, the rights to all this stuff. So very, very awesome that um, this is something that people like us can use that are just trying to use these images for our stores. So burst.shopify.com um, is another free solution for you guys. Now let's go ahead and get into the second one here. It's 123rf.com. This is a stock photo website, just like Shutterstock or anything or any of the other ones. However, this one I've noticed is quite a bit cheaper. Um, if we'll go ahead and jump into the pricing and plans right here. And it's broken up into three different ways that you can buy these pictures. One of them is download the pack where you get 25 images or five images. Um, and then this is the one that I actually do where you buy them by credits. And so I'll buy 40 credits at a time. 
Uh, you can just basically say that it's a dollar per credit, $39 for 40 credits. Um, and let me show you exactly what that means because we don't know what the heck a credit is, right? Like how much does a picture cost, 40 credits? No, it doesn't. So we'll go back to this and we'll type in dogs once again. And so we have several, several images, 806,000 matches. Um, and we'll just click on this one for example. And so what 123rf.com does is they give you the option to buy it in different sizes. And so for the small one, it only costs you two credits. For an extra large one, it costs you 10 credits. But like this extra large one is 23, or I'm sorry, 24.3 inches by 16.2 inches. That's a huge image. You don't need that for a Shopify store. So for us, you're most likely gonna buy something like the medium, which is gonna be four download credits. So really it's only costing you about four bucks for something that you're allowed to use with whatever you want on your Shopify store. Um, and the very last one is something that's gonna be free at first and then it's paid for. Uh, you have the option to stay with it or not. I personally am not going to stay with it. What? Let me go ahead and show you. So it's gonna be Adobe Stock. So go to stock.adobe.com and if you go on there, you'll notice that they give you one month free. I, th I think it's one month. Yeah, it's one month free. And so that one month includes 10 image downloads. Uh, right now I have five images left, as you can tell right here, but uh, let's just type in dogs again. And let this populate real quick. And so we have so many different images that we can choose from. You can get pretty specific on here because they have a lot in their library. So we can put dog hiking. And I'm sure something good will pop up for dogs hiking. There we go, right away we have some good pictures here. Oh, look at this one. This is actually uh, the image that I used right here. So as you can see, uh, standard license, one image. I have it licensed right here and I got this for totally free. And look at the size of this image, 5300 by 3100 dimension. That's huge. Um, so yeah, I get to use this for free. I'm gonna cancel my free trial any day now and I'm gonna use all of the 10 images, which is more than enough for most people's um, Shopify store. You're pretty much just using it for the homepage, maybe like your about section, stuff like that. So uh, yeah, this is a really good option for you guys. But there you go, guys. That's four different ways, three plus a bonus way that you can uh, basically have free to cheap images for your store and not get sued for it, which is what we're trying to do. We're trying to make money, not give some money to somebody else. So hopefully that helps. Please follow along, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about this so far. If this helped you, if you're still here, leave a like on the video for me. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome so far with all the likes and the love. I just really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to keep doing this. This is a series from beginning to end of that first sale. I'm going to keep going after that, but this is, a, this is a journey, so I'm just documenting it for you guys. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.